Hi, I'm Cam Vanderhorst for Corvette Forum, and this is a snow brush, and this is a 1986 Chevrolet Corvette. My 1986 Chevrolet Corvette. I just picked it up a few weeks ago. For years I've been saying that at any price point, a Corvette is probably the most car you can buy, the most performance you can buy. And in the case of this car, I paid $3,600 for it. It probably looks pretty nice from where you're standing, but over the next few minutes we'll be showing you why it was $3,600 and why it might need a little help. So let's go over the options list on the Corvette that I bought. Obviously it's yellow. Uh, they made about 1,400 Corvettes in yellow in 1986. It's an L98 car, obviously, with the 700R4 automatic. Now this is the first car I've intentionally bought with an automatic transmission. I generally prefer to shift my own gears, but I'm not a really big fan of the Doug Nash 4 Plus 3 transmission. It doesn't have the greatest reputation for reliability, and it's not exactly the smoothest thing either. Now, pretty much everything you see here in this interior is held down by the bare minimum. The previous owner started to take the interior out to restore the car, so the dash pad's not actually held in by anything. And uh, the seats are in pretty rough shape, mostly the driver's seat. Um, they did do a few things to it, though. They apparently put a new top end on the car and a new cam. Really mild cam, but still sounds pretty good. Unfortunately, they also did the free coolant passage mod, so given that it's about 35 degrees right now, we'll see if the car actually wants to start. Not bad. So let's talk about some of the goals for the project. Obviously, I'd like to get the car looking a whole lot better. From where you're sitting, it probably looks pretty good. Light colors hide a lot of sins. But this car definitely needs a paint job. Now my buddy Rocco can paint the car for me. Cut me a pretty good deal on it. So the goal with this project is to have a nice, reasonably quick street car with air conditioning, cruise control, and all that good stuff. Unfortunately, the car's got several leaks, one of which is from the brake master cylinder. Now I really like Rocco, and I don't want the car leaking all over his shop, so I want to address those leaks before we get the car to him. Brake master cylinders for early C4 Corvettes with ABS brakes are actually kind of hard to find. Thankfully though, I've got an ace in the hole. This is a 1987 Corvette with just 34,000 miles on it. It's clearly a very well loved, very well taken care of car. It was the unfortunate victim of an engine fire. I purchased this car at a salvage auction because I really wanted the seats. Cloth seats are really hard to come by in nice shape and unlike leather seats, you can't get new upholstery. As it turns out though, I'm going to be able to use a ton of other parts off of this car, including the master cylinder. My friend Pete was gracious enough to let me keep the car at his house for a few weeks, so that's where we are now. Do you see what happens? Do you see what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps? <laughs> Whatever works, right? Now normally I would like to drain the brake fluid before I took the master cylinder off, but I did not bring any hex keys to pull the center cap off that wheel, so we're just going to kind of drain it from the master cylinder. Sorry, Pete. Got rid of that. That was easy enough. The only thing about C4s is that they're usually real easy to work on. When only half your hood opens, they're not very easy to work on at all.
gonna be real with you, champ. I'm kind of uncomfortable with how easy this is going. <laughs> Too easy. I'm not used to working on rust-free 34,000 mile cars. Especially not used to tearing them apart for pieces. It's funny that Corvette only has 2,000 more miles than my car. Same color too. Yeah. You guys are brothers. Far from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that master cylinder in here. So that on the way back it doesn't ruin your super nice car. Thank you. I try. I'm an okay friend, I think. <laughs> Girlfriend got me a mug for Valentine's Day. It says world's okayest boyfriend. Look at that. Entirely too easy. Well, we're definitely going to have to replace the uh, reservoir with the one from mine. Look at that. All that damage from the fire. That's nuts. Well, we got everything we need off the parts car for today, so. Guess it's time to head back home and start working on the 86.